Hey guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, and today we're going to work on the 33 3 window project, and this one is going to be a pretty fun one. So, uh, we did the dash in the last video. I mentioned I was trying to do some projects that were a little more uh, fun or, uh, you know, a little a little more satisfying when you're done rather than doing like steering and you know that that boring stuff so um, we got all that kind of going in the right direction uh, after doing the dash I'm trying to gather some gauges and figure out the gauge panel so I figured I'd jump over to the headers so I found in my stat what kind of prompted this was I was digging around in all my boxes of stuff that we've been unboxing upstairs um, and I've been putting parts away and I found that I think I got when I found my heads or when I got all these parts in one of my stashes of stuff, I got um, a set of Arden uh, header flanges, which are very, pretty nicely made. All the holes are, are set. They got inch and a half holes in them, which are perfect for what I think the, I actually uh, texted Ron um, and that's doing the engine. And he mentioned that the, the ports are like 1.46 or something. Of course he knew the, the measurement right off the top of his head. Uh, so inch and a half pipe, he said, is acceptable for what's coming out of each of the ports. So I got a bunch of inch and a half, I uh, bought a couple of these kits. They're really expensive. They can get them from Jag Summit, whoever, and they're just mild steel, but they got all these different bends in them. And they're really handy when you're making headers and stuff. Uh, while you could bend something up with a tubing bender, it's a lot of back and forth with this. You have all these different bends. You can just cut them where you want and, and put a set of headers or exhaust together. And I like that, done in a bunch of videos. So um, we're gonna bolt up these plates. I got these extra, I have these uh, set of plastic heads I got from my buddy Pete that are mock-up heads. They have all the holes that are already drilled and in the plastic and then they put actual threaded inserts into them so you can actually tighten up this this bracket right onto the head as if we were you know had the real thing here and we could start building a set of headers so my idea for the exhaust on this uh, i had a really neat set of chrome zoomy headers for this that came um i basically got with the heads um <clears throat> but they did not fit the car once we got the engine and it's it, where it needed to sit they did not fit in it. They, they basically were going to hit and just wouldn't work. So got them set aside. Who knows, maybe someday I can find a use for them. If not, they're cool wall hangers. Um, so I'm gonna use that same idea of doing zoomy type headers. Uh, but uh, what I think I'm gonna do in the end is add some flanges that are hidden on the bottom, right where it comes out of the heads. And we can run some full exhaust out the back and cap these. But for now, we're gonna work on the flow of the headers and how it's going to look because that's really the most important thing here aside from the performance aspect is also getting a look in the flow of these headers to look right with the body. Um, I think it really completes the look and it's gonna fill up the gap in here where we have kind of nothingness. We're gonna fill that with some cool pipes. So let's get started. All right, so I've already started uh, kind of mocking things up. I got this first flange. I'm starting on the driver's side because that is the most difficult side with the steering box and everything could be a pain. So I already started by cutting a 90 down and sticking it inside the, uh, the flange. And you can see the angle that the, that the exhaust comes out. It's like basically straight down, um, which kind of makes it difficult for making the type of headers I'm making. If we were just going straight out the back of the car, it'd probably be pretty easy. So um, I cut a 90 here. It's put up in the, uh, in the flange. It's, steering the, it's clearing the steering box. And we're going in the right direction. I got this other piece here that has, uh, it's like a 45 roughly, and I've been trimming it down so that it can kind of go like this and go out around the cow. So I got that pretty good. I'm gonna cut this at the straight here. Um, I don't think the straight's as long as I'd like it to be, but for now it'll get the flow of it. I may cut it back closer to the bend and then add a straight piece of pipe um, and try and hide the weld more up in the bend so we blend it all out, it won't be as obvious. So. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna cut this and then I could probably tack these two pipes together maybe and get an idea of what we're working with.
Yeah, we just want to be off the frame. Yeah, yeah. cardboard. Card. Great. Need at least a doubled up cardboard would be ideal. We can rotate it. Oh my, that's uh, that's looking pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, that's getting there. I like that. I need to rotate down just a hair, but Okay, this needs to rotate no, down. Actually, if you could rotate, if you had, you said you had play at the top, can you rotate the entire thing down here? Well, it, because you're at different angles, it's going to change okay. everything. Right. I just pulled this a little tighter here too. That so this needs cool. to come up. Now it needs to go down a hair. We're running it. It's you know because you got multiple angles. Yeah. Then it changes. It's not off much. I mean. It's not go in. Yeah, that looks good. I like that. Have it more like that. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's pretty cool. I feel like it's still a little open up here, but it might just be my imagination. I see what you mean. It's a little yeah. A little high. I, I don't think it, unless you, you're looking for it, I don't think Well, the other, the other thing is, do we want them to cascade like that because the frame goes up? We're going to have more and more problem on every one exactly. to get it. Exactly. Maybe just a hair on each one to make your life a lot easier. Well, it, make, it would make it look right because it would all go up right. okay, with yeah. the frame. Yep. Because the frame goes up, yep. so if all of them kind of go up on the frame and come down, mm -hmm. it'll have this cascade up. Yep. Because that every one's going to get harder. Yep. Because I have less clearance. You know, so in order to get this, I'd have to be doing like on this one. I'd have to go like a 180 way up in the area yeah. back down. So okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yep. So if we can find a happy medium where it's. Mm -hmm. How about this way? Which, uh, right here. Right there. <laughs> right there. Yeah, <You're> stop it. <laughs> yeah, I think we just have to go with the. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't love it that it's. I don't. If you're not looking for it, you're not going to see that. But like I said, I, if we just do that on every one, where it's just a little higher, a little yeah. higher, they'll cascade up. Yep. And I think I think that'll. It's nice looking. It, looking at it from the side, you get a nice. You, know, you can see one pipe underneath the other. Yeah. 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 Yes, that might be cool that they're cascaded like yep. that, you know. Yep. Yeah, that's that that there's about right. <laughs> <laughs>
poor quality or anything. Their rare earth magnets are really strong, so you can hold stuff together, but like they sometimes will grab on things not how we want. So like you can see I have the height set here. Uh, I'm keeping all the pipes kind of together with that. And now that we're pretty happy with it, ignore the lengths. We just have, <clears throat> with this bend kit I got and how I want these pipes to land, um, I'm gonna end up having to weld a little piece on the end of these, I think, um, to get the stagger how I want. We're gonna keep it like these two where it's an, about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half difference. So this one I'm gonna trim down this one we're gonna actually needs to be a little longer. So, uh, or, you know, it'll be a trim there. So anyways, we got everything pretty much mocked up on this last pipe. You can see the, the flow of everything, how it's coming out. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, just a little bit of OCD stuff with where the bends are and how it is, but with just how the engine and exhaust comes out, my skill level and the where everything needs to live, it's not working out. But right now, it does look pretty badass. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I got to tack this up, so we're going to carefully work around the magnets and get like a tack here, take the magnet off, tack there, work our way around, then I got to sand a little bit and get everything fitting even better, and then we'll get it all tacked up, and we can take all the magnets off and stand back and look at this side and go, hooray! Nice. You like that? I like that. <laughs> yeah, everything all blended and smooth, it looks. Yep. <clears throat> Made okay. a big difference. And yeah, there's just a little bump right there I want to transition, like we talked about. Mm -hmm. The rest of it's not too bad. Oh, it looks, they look freaking cool. <laughs> Yeah, those little imperfections, I'll just have to spend time, like I said, with a block sander and put little dabs of weld in it, mm. you know, oh, right. to get yeah. it like perfect, perfect. Build it up, sand it down. Yeah. Build it up, sand it down. But. All right, so I just did a quick little run with the sander, uh, the with both the little flap disc and a belt sander and just knocked down the welds and, and uh, then took the mini DA and went over everything just to blend it in a little bit. Uh, definitely some spots that need a little bit more work, but 
Um, now it's all kind of one tone, so to speak. There's not all the marks from welding and all that. And it looks pretty badass. Uh, pretty psyched on it. This definitely gives that aggressive look we're trying to get for the car. Um, as I think I mentioned in the beginning of the video, because uh, I'm sure this especially is going to get like a million comments from all of our all of our uh, grumpy people that watch the channel. Yes, this would be very, very loud, and that is cool. What I'm hoping to do on this one, though, is I'm hoping to hide underneath of the pipes, like, like right at the head, um, get just little flanges that are inch and a half flange, that's what these pipes are, and weld little, a little piece of pipe onto the bottom and a flange, and then I can run the pipes down underneath that are hidden. I'll paint. These I'm hoping to chrome, and then the uh, exhaust will paint black so it's kind of hidden, and we'll have pipes that'll go out the back, and then we can put little caps on the inside here that are hidden. So when you're driving the car around, it'll basically look like you have the zoomies on or when it's sitting still, um, but we can have the option to run it out the back of the car. Uh, I think it'll be a neat little project. I've always wanted to do that on a car is do the zoomies with the with the pipes to go back. So it'll be, uh, it's a lot of work for me to get all the bends right and get everything under the car and flowing. But um, I think it'll be a nice solution where it'll have this aggressive look that we want, but I can also drive it on the street and uh, it won't be ridiculously obnoxious because I know that free tea is pretty darn obnoxious with that and they're not nearly as short as this. So uh, I think it'll be a good solution, but this is step one, get the pipes on, get the look, how we're going uh, with this and then we can work on the other part when we start getting a little further along on the car, get the actual engine mounted in and everything, we can get it on the lift and then I'll work on taking the pipes off, putting those flanges on, running the pipes back. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I always thought it would be really neat. There's a car um, that's floating around that's in, I think in the Three Dog Museum, but it's it's a old hot rod that's like an orange, thick 32-3 window with a Hemi in it and it has eight pipes out the back and it looks freaking ridiculous and super cool. I always want to do that, but I might be too much for this car. Who knows? I might just do playing two pipes out the back. I'm not sure yet, but we have time to think about that. So this is step one. We'll probably put some footage of doing the other side, maybe in a week of the life of. Maybe I'll shoot a video on that too. Not sure yet, but um, this is a huge hurdle to get this done and, and looking how we want. Now we just got to mimic it on the other side. No big deal, right? Just a couple more days of work. So thank you guys for following along. Let me know what you think of the uh, new set of pipes for the 33.3 window. Thanks guys, catch you later.